Hey, welcome in to CHGO Tavern Style presented by Salerno's Pizza. Head over to the Grand Avenue location and call 312-666-3444 to make a reservation today. I'm Jay Zawoski from CHGO Blackhawks and that's Adam Hogue from CHGO Bears. We are here to talk about the coolest athlete in Chicago sports. And while the Chicago teams aren't great right now, we definitely have some candidates uh, for some pretty cool and pretty interesting Chicago athletes. So I feel like I have an obvious one, okay, but I really like yours. Yeah, I don't feel like uh, I can be convinced out of my opinion on this one. Okay. Uh, I think Angel Reese is the coolest athlete in Chicago. Um, her arrival in town um, was just so, it immediately piqued interest in the Chicago sky. Immediately, people were like, oh, damn, we got to go check them out. And I think people knew her a lot as kind of the villain in the Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese situation. But to me, that's what makes her so cool is the fact that she was kind of like, I don't, I don't care about all the hype. I'm going to beat you and I'm going to tell you I beat you. And I'm going to show you my ring. And I, I just love her whole attitude. She goes to the Met Gala. Uh, she's hanging out with rappers and celebrities. I just think she immediately comes into town and is the coolest athlete in the city. I mean, that right there. Going to the Met Gala, yeah. hanging out with those people. But <laughs> yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, the way she, you know, she's not afraid to talk smack. She's got swagger. She gets taken down in the game on Saturday, and she's just like, yeah, I expected them to play me this way. Part of the I'm game. I'm tough. Uh, no, no worries. Um, so I thought she handled that situation really, really well. Had the comments that went viral. So, yeah, I, I think that um, she is one of two very cool rookies that have joined this city in the last you know, month and a half or whatever it's been now. Um, I'm going to go with the other one, though. Caleb Williams has to be up there, too. I mean, we're talking about a guy who has already sort of owned L.A. Um, yeah. He's hanging out with celebrities, too. He's all over Instagram and not afraid of it and putting, you know, out there, the, you know, his lifestyle and the things he believes in and he's confident in his own ways too. all you know this goes all the way back to high school um and every step of the way he's been like you know i'm gonna be a heisman trophy winner check that box right right? yeah i'm gonna be the number (laughs) one i'm gonna be the number one pick check that box and he's always been cool and calm and collected with all that stuff and delivered so i think caleb williams is there too Same type of thing in that he kind of already arrives here as a superstar. Yeah. Now, for both of these athletes, they got to live up to it. Um, I think there's always something new and shiny about, you know, having a a rookie who can come to. uh, These are both franchises that have been struggling, at least as of late, with the Sky. They did just win a championship not too long ago. But, um, you know, they're kind of being deemed as saviors of, their teams right now, and hopefully they live up to that. Well, I think what makes them both so cool is the fact that they're both unapologetically themselves. Angel Reese and Caleb Williams don't pretend to be something they're not. Um, when they are questioned, they own it, they face it, they address it. They don't kind of, I don't want to say hide from it, but I think a, lo- a lot of players that would have similar criticisms, air quotes, that those two have gotten would kind of push against it a little bit and they're both kind of like no it's it's just who I am I'm comfortable with it like whether it's you know uh whether it's Caleb painting his fingernails or crying uh, with his mom or whatever he's never hidden from that he's never tried to make excuses from it and same with Angel Reese she's she's happy to be the villain she's happy to be the foil to Caitlin Clark and so many other great basketball players and I think you know she comes to town and I always think about this like Patrick Kane had the mouth guard that so many hockey players have adopted and Angel Reese, and maybe I'm wrong here. I'm not a WNBA historian or an NBA historian by any means, but she was the first I saw wearing like the single leg sleeve. Like mm-hmm. she's got the one. Yeah. And I now I see a bunch of a bunch of basketball players doing that. So maybe she's even setting trends in her own way. You know who's been doing that so far in practice? Caleb Williams. Yes. Really? He's got, <laughs> I was totally kidding. No, seriously. He's only he's got a sleeve on one leg. And we're like, uh, <laughs> next time we get to talk to him, we'll have to ask him about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's other like I'm sure there's people shouting at their tavern style podcast right now saying, Jay, what about Connor Bedard? He's a great player. He's not cool. Because he doesn't even have the swagger that like Kane had. Nah, he's, he's a hockey geek. Like he does. He loves hockey. He lives and breathes hockey. It's all he wants to do. I think as he gets more experience here and becomes a little more comfortable, he'll show a little more of his personality. I think he is extremely aware of the old school hierarchy in hockey 
It's like that in every sport where rookies keep their mouth shut, but especially in hockey. And I think he's also very, he knows he's the best player on the team, but he doesn't want to act that way. If that makes sense. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to come in day one or even year two and be like, all right, my team, let's go. Hockey culture kind of pushes against that. And he is a huge subscriber to hockey culture. Good or bad. Yeah. Now some of his celebrations I do, they they have been pretty cool so far. See that. And that's what I'm hinting at is there's been, there's been the stare downs on the goalies. There's been some, it's under there. You know, (laughs) I think it's coming. We just haven't seen it too much yet. Yeah. By the way, stop by Salerno's on tap located 1201 West Grand in Chicago's West town. Enjoy our tavern style pizza, ice cold beers. Whether you're headed to the game, want to watch it live on our big screen or watching from home. We've got you covered at Salerno's go to Salerno's pizza.com. Call 312-666-3444. Mention CHGO. Get half off. Your pizza. We were ta- like trying to brainstorm even other candidates yeah. for this, and it's I, I don't know if we're just in a, a tough spot in Chicago sports right now, but like there are a couple of other candidates I'd throw out on the Bears. I just don't know if they're big enough stars yet, but like Jaquan Brisker is a cool player and a cool guy. Yeah. He's got some swagger to him. I'd say Kyler Gordon, too, with his Spider-Man um, flip. And yeah, some the persona the he's yeah, doing. Yeah, like, so yeah. I think there's some candidates. I would even throw Cole Clement in the in there a little bit because you know he's just a Chicago guy who's drinking beers, hanging yeah. out with with Zach Bryan on <laughs> yeah, stage right, right, at a right. concert. But like, that's, Keenan Allen's pretty cool. Yeah, he's got like a kind of a, a quiet swag to himself. DJ Moore, I think you put in the can. You know, I, the White Sox are loaded with guys that like should have been cool, if uh, healthy, cool. Yeah, like Luis <laughs> Ro- Luis Robert should be a superstar. Yeah, it's yes, he should. Just so frustrating yeah. that he's not. You know, Moncada's got the music videos and that's but it's like you got to back that up with like also being really good on the field yeah. so at, that's what's tough and i don't know what to make of the cubs like i think morell is cool but he's kind of cool in a uh like an all shucks kind of a way yeah. you know he just seems to just really love the game and love the spotlight and i i you know i kind of compare him to like a, a little bit like javi was early on but javi had like when javi was here he was the champ yeah he was a coolest chicago athlete and of course, and we're not saying they have to be the best player necessarily, but in terms of the swag and the moments and the pizzazz and all that stuff, like Javi held it down. He might be the coolest Chicago athlete ever after Jordan. Um, but, yeah, I think I think it's down to Angel Reese and Caleb Williams, and I think if Caleb Williams becomes who we hope he becomes, then he's on top of that uh, for sure. And I think uh, – I like you know what else is cool too is that the two of them have sort of – teamed up and talked about, you know, taking over this town together, which I think is awesome. Yeah. Well, and it, they come in together. Um, kind of reminds me of Kane and mm. Rose coming in about the same time and both being young superstars. These were some of the debates we used to have. <laughs> Those are good days. It's half worked. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But two really cool athletes and uh, hopefully more to come down the road for Chicago because we need some wins and we need some athletes to get behind Thanks for watching uh, CHGO Tavern Style. Jay Zawoski, Adam Hove. We'll talk to you next time. We all see me like the man. It is very loud. That is loud television.